How to find competitors target audience on Facebook ads. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back to yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about finding competitors target audience on our Facebook ads in the easiest, most simplest way possible. Now, the steps that I'm going to be showing you are going to be absolutely out of this world and they're going to be really easy to get your head around. So please do make sure to fully watch all of this till the end so you get the general idea of how everything works. So to start things off, what we are going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and we're going to find actual competitors tracking uh, the audience to see what we can do uh, inside your Facebook ads. So what you want to do, first of all, is to locate the actual metaverse at the library. And to get the meta ad library, you are going to want to make sure to either just come directly through your Facebook or you can just write Facebook meta ad library. OK, so you're going to go over to the ad library over here and it takes you to the actual ads library that Facebook has with meta. Now, in the ads library, what you can do is you can start finding your competitors target audience in the easiest way. Because here, as you can see, it says search ads, set location and choose an ad category to start your actual search. And you can actually, you know, get their search tips that they have for you. Uh, you can add different categories for yourself. You know, they have different ad categories, uh, different countries for those categories and a whole lot more. So these are really uh, easy and simple potential stuff to get your things around. Or to get your head around now to actually find your competitors target audience let's say i'm going to come here uh ad library search all of the ads currently running across meta technologies as well as ads about social issues elections or politics that have run in the past seven years ads that have run anywhere in the eu in the past year to find an ad search for keywords or an advertiser now let's say i'm going to come on search ads so first of all you're going to choose the country i'm going to go with all you know i'm going to go with all countries and then we are going to go with ad categories in an ad categories. We have all ads or issues, electronics or politics. I'm going to go with all ads and then we're going to add in keywords, right? So let's add in a keyword. Let's say uh, I want ads on coffee. OK, so you're going to search up coffee and what it will do is it will give you different ads launched on coffee different competitors launched on coffee and different ads with their detailed insights platforms they got launched on and the actual descriptions and pictures they used. So how incredible is that? So you can actually search for all your competitors in the easiest, most simplest way possible with just a few keywords and one click. So Let's say I'm going to go ahead with uh, this ad over here, you know, so you can see this adds certain detail. So you can see this ad certain detail and you can also see about the advertiser. So you have Elevation Coffee Roasters. OK, uh, they have a few followers on Facebook, a few followers on Instagram. And this ad of theirs got a lot of insight. So it started running on 2nd November, which was yesterday. And the platforms it runs on is Facebook, Instagram, and audience network. Okay. So you can also search up different competitors for yourself. So let's say I'm just going to keep searching on coffee and you can get different advertisers with good high numbers. So let's say I want to go ahead with Dutch Bros Coffee. Okay. I want to see their ads. I want to see what their ads are about. So you can start seeing their ads. So this is Dutch Bros Coffee with a lot of followers. And you can start seeing their ads running on different dates and they have a lot of ads running on like same date. So, you know, these ads you can see over here started running on 1st November and this ad you can see over here started running on 2nd November, which was yesterday, as I told you. And you can see the different ads uh, you get with like they have different advertisements. You can see the different summary details for these ads. So let's say I want to see this ads details. So here we go. They ran an ad, Dutch Bros Coffee's newest Wacko location is now open, roll through it, etc, etc. So 
you know, you get the whole concept. Uh, if we keep on going forward, you can see the detail about all of this. And uh, you can actually get a pretty clear idea of how your competitor actually works around in their workspace with the different ad workings. Okay, so really easy, really uh, simple stuff to get your head around. Now, what you can also do further on while searching your ads is, uh, you know, let's say I'm going to click out of here. You can also search for different competitors. Like, let's say you are posting ads about, you know, movies or, you know, universal pictures. Now, obviously, some people might be giving you a uh, competition in that. So we can see, like, uh, universal pictures are really huge enterprise, you know, really huge association. You can also see the ads that they give out. Okay. So you can see the platforms they put out these ads on. You can see. Uh, how sponsored these ads are you can see if they're active or not and you can see their summary details as I told you they have three different ads in one place and in one place you can see uh, there's uh, you can actually see the ads for themselves that they have and uh, you can also see the different variations and versions that people have created of these ads so you know pretty incredible like you can scour the whole meta ad library for any type of competitor that you essentially have. And it has the best type of branded content, in my opinion. It has the best type of import export system, best type of reports, API, and a whole lot more. So please do make sure to fully get the inside of all of this and how all of this actually works for you. So yeah, uh, essentially that's about it when it comes to actually finding competitors on your Facebook ads. Uh, one last thing is that you can actually save these competitors for yourself. Like, uh, you can save their searches, you can save their ads, save competitors. So you can keep coming back to them to get ideas. You can also go in ad library report. Okay. And what ad libraries reports does is, uh, it sees the general amount spent and made. So total number of ads in the ad library are 25,887 and total amount spent because of those ads is in my currency it's around uh you could say this is well above 500k you know so 500k that's a lot of money right that is a lot of damn money so how does one make so much using ads like you can see the people as well in the analytics and reports tools who make a lot. So let's say there's people like the Blue Truth and the Blue Truth makes a lot of revenue on their ads. So you can actually check that over here. And, you know, the Blue Truth is obviously a page that uh, creates a lot of revenue with the informational ads. So, yeah, basically, that is how you can actually find competitors on ads or Facebook ads. So, yeah, I hope that was helpful to you. That was about it for this video, though. Thank you for watching all the way till the end, and I will see all of you wonderful people next time. Goodbye.